Mm. What's up guys, DRJ here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the culture of gaming part two. Um, so first, before I get into it, I just wanted to apologize because I had, uh, originally I had both parts pre-recorded, and, but I realized through actually, uh, midway through the first part, I had promised you guys basically that I was going to like, you know, listen to your responses, take, uh, take into account, you know, your criticisms, critiques, things like that as always, and, um, couldn't do that if I had the second part already recorded, so here I am today making another one, and um, as usual, whatever, browse through the comments and took a look at uh, the things you guys have had to say. So, first of all, I love um, a lot of the responses, you know, hearing very similar stories about people that have had um, uh, different interactions with friends, you know, um, the way they've been treated uh, for being basically good at video games, being kicked out of our friend's house or something like that, or having a uh, friend get upset because, you know, you're pooping all over them in a certain video game. Uh, anyway, yeah, obviously I can empathize with that. I think the only thing worse than being really bad, I say it all the time, is being uh, really good. So it, it was really funny and uh, it was great to hear you guys' stories. Um, second thing is I've had a few people comment on the video and I've had a lot of people comment in general um, as far as the cultural gaming goes, where do women fit into that? And I think that uh, that's way too big of a subject to fit into this particular uh, segment, but it's something that I will uh, definitely be uh, pursuing in the future. Um, I've recently come across um, actually a female who does play video games, so uh, maybe I can shoot uh, shoot her a few questions, see what her, her take is uh, on um, you know, how, how things are progressed in video games, how women are portrayed, or, you know, why women are such a minority. Uh, you know, even according to my own YouTube stats, I think that, like, uh, men, at least, by the way, they classify themselves on YouTube, make up, like, 96% of my viewer base, so it doesn't seem that women are that interested either in what I'm having to say, or video games, I don't know. But I think that, like I said, I don't want to get too off on topic, but Video games is a really, really, really big category, and um, you know maybe women aren't as common in things like you know FPSs or RTSs and things like that. You know maybe it's it's something else. Um, so like I said, it's I don't know. I think I uh, like I said I've never known many or any women who really have played video games, even like half-ass. So it's I, it's I don't know. I don't really have a large sample size. Um, you guys feel free to use your comments, but like I said, we'll do that somewhere down the road. Um, I think the big thing that I wanted to focus on with this particular segment, what I want to drive home as far as like my conclusion, uh, the areas that I'm interested in as far as the culture of gaming goes, is basically, I mean, I think you guys, a lot of you guys have already seen where this is going if you've watched anything else. You know, I just want the more uh, critically minded, uh, rational gamers as far as uh, increasing that within the, the culture of gaming. You know, looking back as far as I can remember, you know, obviously I had my first start in competitive gaming playing Battlefield, and I remember Battlefield came out, and it was so, 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 so popular, but it got a lot of backlash from the CS community because it wasn't Counter-Strike. And as somebody who grew up playing like a TDM style shooter, I was so enthralled with playing something that was conquest based and brought in all these new elements and was so much more exciting, and I was so disappointed and so upset that so many people I knew were continuing to play CS and when you ask them why they didn't appreciate something like BF, I mean, their thoughts or, or words never expressed more than it's, it's basically it's not CS. And I think that, um, like I said, that lack of the critically focused uh, mindset is something that's been going on in gaming for a long time. Uh, possibly more prevalent now and maybe even more important now than ever, especially with, you know, global games out there with, um, you know, like World of Warcraft or COD. Um, I don't think that actually World of Warcraft is nearly as big of a fender as far as uh, generalizing or breaking down games, uh, you know, lowering that skill potential so anybody can play as COD is. Um, but still, when you have, you know, that mass, mass, mass market like that, um, you know, the majority are the ones that are going to get their voices heard, and until, you know, the majority, or at least a significant minority, are, you know, voicing uh, very consistent, um, uh, 
critically minded uh, complaints or criticisms of video games, it's going to be really difficult to expect anything different to happen in the future than what's been happening over the last, say, five years. Um, you know, I don't think it really, it doesn't really matter whether you're talking about, you know, the stuff that's been going on in COD or whether it's, you know, people in World of Warcraft uh, railing against, you know, the idea of this uh, ladder of progression that's been going on in there, um, which probably I'll be doing a video on in the future. Um, or, or like I said, whether it's, you know, people even looking at something like Skyrim and just giving it this unabashedly perfect praise, 10 out of 10, um, across the boards, can't get any better, etc., etc. Um, like I said, these kinds of concepts, these kinds of ideas, as far as I can tell in my own experience, have been happening since day one, since I was playing competitive games, you know, 10, 12, 15 years ago. And like I said, they are more than more important than ever today because so many more people are playing video games and the video games, like I said, are, are starting to specifically target certain markets and the way that they're targeting those markets is, like I said, you know, more or less breaking down those games um, so that the, the masses can enjoy them making, you know, like I said, the, the way that they, you know, like I said, pulling down that skill potential like I've talked about a million times before. Um, you know, uh, in conclusion with this, you know, it's just, it's a lot of, I don't want to say it's common sense stuff, but like, you know, we're the, we're the buyers, we have all the power, um, you know, vote with our wallets and things like that. But I think that that, you know, that, that's, that's kind of tough sometimes because your choices, like if you want to play something like COD or if you don't want to play WoW, like I said, WoW is a bit of a different example, but I mean, what are, what are your other choices really? I mean, there, there's really not a lot out there. Um, as grievous as an offender as COD is, your next best choice is that much worse. So um, I think it's so much more important, like I said, to be critically minded and give devs criticism, um, especially with the way that, you know, we have with, uh, you know, basically the social media, you know, like I put out an article or a video um, and you guys link it on Twitter or something like that and send Robert Bowling 4,000 tweets that he should take a look at this. You know, like we have a realistic possibility of making ourselves heard and I think that we have a more realistic possibility of making a change happen by um, making our voices heard as opposed to trying to convince you know a billion people to you know, like you know quote unquote vote with their wallets and not buy that game I think it has a greater impact if we can get 30,000 people that are agreeing as far as what the general issues are with COD and the way they would like them to uh, push in the future um, so in general, like I said, just critically minded, rational, um, you know, it's not just what you say, it's, it's why you're saying it, um, you know, why is it you think what you're thinking and as it applies to, as it applies to video games. Um, and hopefully like with this channel, I can try to focus some of those thoughts and get those out there and. Like I said, the idea is that we get better video games in the future, and that is what I would like to change as far as video game culture. So, as always, comments, criticisms, critiques, let me know what you guys think.